Limpopo a province living beyond its means. The departments of finance, education, health, social development and public works all bankrupt and without proper financial systems. The province <coughs> faces as we stand today a potential shortfall of 2 billion rands at the end of this financial year which is at the end of March. And National Treasury as part of the National Intervention Team will have to and is in the process of restructuring the province's finances in order to find savings of 2 billion rands in order that there isn't the shortfall. The health and education departments are the worst affected. Most hospitals in Limpopo are struggling to feed patients. We've paid a certain amount of money to cater us in December and nobody could then claim that look I have not been paid for many months and if you are supplying something like food which is so sensitive you should warn us and say I'm not supplying tomorrow or next week etc. It's not the service where you could just stop and, and we think this was very unfortunate. Kodan has warned that service providers without valid contracts will not be paid. 200 ghost teachers are being investigated as are questionable tenders amounting to about 2 million rand. Lumpopo Premier Castle Matale says his government will cooperate with the national team. We must never at any given stage conflate internal processes of the movement and dynamics of running an administration because the danger of us doing that, we will in the long run cripple the administration in the name of pursuing political programs of the African National Congress. Cabinet's move to take control of Polokwane was initially described as a ploy to discredit and sideline Matale. Godan dismissed this, saying no other province required a billion rand bailout.